Well, Proverbs 6, 12 to 15 says simply this, don't be a troublemaker. Don't be a troublemaker. It's going to come back and bite you if you are. So as we walk through our weekly wisdom, I invite you to listen closely to Proverbs chapter 6, verses 12 through 15. A troublemaker and a villain who goes about with a corrupt mouth, who winks maliciously with his eye, signals with his feet, motions with his fingers, who plots evil with deceit in his heart, he always stirs up conflict. There are people that are just always causing trouble. Therefore, disaster will overtake him in an instant. He will suddenly be destroyed without remedy. And those last two words are tough, without remedy. When you look at this passage, it talks about there's a certain kind of person who just trouble seems to follow them around. I don't know what, I don't know what happens. It just trouble seems to follow me around. Probably not. There's a better chance that you're causing trouble, that you are a troublemaker. And the reason there's trouble everywhere you go is because you're there. You're saying, Pastor, don't be so harsh with me. I'm not being harsh with you. The Bible is. There's this, this sense that with your mouth, with your eyes, with your feet, with your fingers, with your heart, this plotting to create conflict and tension. So pause for a minute. Assess your relational world. Does there seem to be trouble everywhere you go? If there is, humbly pray and say, Lord, could it be that the reason there's trouble everywhere I go is because... I'm there. Maybe I'm a troublemaker. Maybe I like stirring things up. Stir the pot. Push, push some boundaries. If that's you and then you're wondering why this is happening, humble your heart and say, God, help me learn to not be a troublemaker. And, and if, that, if what I've said so far hasn't woken you up to at least be open to seek the Lord about this, listen again to the end of the passage. Therefore, disaster will overtake him in an instant. It seems like it comes from nowhere, but it's come from a lifetime of troublemaking. And this troublemaker will suddenly be destroyed without remedy. There's costs to causing trouble everywhere you go. Maybe you could be a person who brings grace and kindness and gentleness. Let the Lord and the Spirit search your heart. Will you pray with me? God, none of us wants to be a troublemaker, but someone's out there causing trouble, and it just might be us. Humble our hearts and let us seek you, and let us know if we are the cause of the trouble and the conflict and the tension that swirls around us. And if we are, Humble our hearts, change our behaviors, search us by your spirit, and teach us to have a gracious and gentle spirit rather than a troublemaking spirit. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, blessings on you. Enjoy your week, and we'll hopefully see you in church if you're part of Shoreline. And if you're not, get engaged in the church that you're part of and have a great week ahead. Blessings.